Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video and today's video is about the latest update of the SVIP. The SVIP is an addition to our regular VIP which will unlock more bonuses, more technology benefits when you have reached VIP level 12. This is the minimum requirement that you need to have before any effects of the SVIP activate. So. We need those noble badges, as you can read here, use noble badge to permanently unlock the SVIP feature. After being unlocked successfully, VIP privileges will be directly inherited by SVIP and get the SVIP unique privileges. So we have this noble crown frame, we have noble fireworks, we also have this new city skin or your name skin, which is permanently. And these are the interesting things, the stat bonuses. So first of all, VIP stat bonus. After you activate SVIP, VIP stats bonuses take effect at the same time. So it is an addition. You don't lose anything, you just gain stuff. On the first level, you increase your melee HP. On the second level, you increase the range attack. And from then on, you have specific buffs for certain events. So I have talked to people that have unlocked this update. And to get these noble badges, you, you get them on a daily basis, but to get them, you first have to unlock the SVIP. For that, you have to either buy this lifetime purchase limit or you buy superior noble badges and with them, you can unlock the SVIP. As you can see here from this window, here stands buy in the shop or gain from event and what I think is very interesting is that it is the usual habit of the game that people that are willing to invest money get advantages earlier or faster. And I still have the high hopes that you can gain these noble badges from events too. But what I think is very interesting since I have talked to people that, I, that already have this SVIP unlocked, as soon as you have it unlocked, it is permanently unlocked and you get noble badges every day, which will help you to increase these stat bonuses. Furthermore, you need your normal VIP points, which I personally have stocked up a lot, as you can see here, from being tier or VIP 12 already for a very long time. So this is going to be an update that I will also buy and then we will go through all of it together. So just give me a second, I will quickly unlock the lifetime purchase limit and then I'll be back. See you then guys. Okay, so I have just unlocked the SVIP level one and it says unlock SVIP melee HP. So this is how it looks like and there are several things that we have to check out. Here you can see the usual or the basic VIP stat bonuses that you have from VIP level 12. And now you can see that I have level one or level zero as VIP melee HP. To increase this, we can invest our usual VIP points. For example, I have increased melee HP and I want 1%. I would have to invest 10 of my um, 1K VIP points. Another thing, SVIP, the ranged attack, current stats unlock at SVIP level two. Now is the question, how do we improve our SVIP level? First of all, every day you can see the glimmering chest up here on the right. I will click on it. And these are the badges that you get now every day. Upgrade SVIP. And if we use those two that we just got, we will see how much of an improvement it does. Or as you can read up here, use 50 more noble badges to upgrade to SVIP level two. And now it says use 48 more noble badges to upgrade to SVIP two. So it is a growing thing. And as you can see, you always unlock on certain stages these uh, extra rewards, for example, the noble crown and SVIP level two, or on SVIP level four, you get this noble designation for your castle name. Okay. So now we need to think about how much do we want to invest into each of these upgrades. I think we will get some percentages here. And now you can see that another percent costs 1K of VIP points more. So it's all fine. 
it's an upgrade that will or now what I think it is very what is very interesting about it all of us that are already VIP 12 have been stocking up those VIP points and are still getting those VIP points and now we have a use for it which can immediately be invested into our frontline or backline technology and all of that stuff very interesting in my opinion here's also the question mark on the upper right and i think the first note is very interesting for us lock in daily to get noble badges and unique fireworks fireworks are time limited unused items will expire at zero server time on the following day but what is very interesting is that you need to lock in daily to get those noble badges but before you get those noble badges every day you need to unlock it so this is why i did this of course, I have the high hopes that we can unlock the SVIP or these Noble Badges also from events where we can gather those. So people that really don't want to invest any money into this game can also unlock the SVIP. But on the other hand, it is a one-time investment. I'm also happy to support the game. And in the end, I think it is yeah a fair deal. And if we are able to unlock it with events or if we can gather noble badges in events then i think it is still a fine deal of course if you are willing to invest money you will get upgrades earlier and faster this is a fine deal for me and yeah all in all i will now keep upgrading those skills in here and yeah i hope that this video helped you out and gave you some more insights and more informations about the SVIP you can also here on see on the upper button where usually SVIP uh, 12 stands is now SVIP 1 so I think it is very interesting and as you can see here on the activated side we use our normal VIP buffs to activate it and to keep it running so it is a one-time thing and as I just said, I hope that normal batches will also be able to be gathered in normal events but we will see about that. I think what I will do now is invest a bit more into here just to get some more percentages out. Okay, I already have 3% more melee HP and I know that I will have in 24 days, which is like a bit more than three weeks, I will also have the range attack to increase the attack of my mages and archers. So I won't invest too many VIP points in here. So I can also do some upgrades when I unlock the ranged attack and from then on we will see more improvements coming. This is now an ongoing thing. So all in all an interesting upgrade and yeah, I hope that this video helped you out and then I would say see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.